guys <laughs> i attempted to make this video again i was almost through to the end of the video that i was just doing but my wife called asked me what i wanted to eat and of course i have no idea anyway so i am 15 days dpi from the very first one 13 days 14 days dpo um so i'm pretty much at the end of my tww and I have yet to take a, a test. I kind of don't want to because I don't want to be scared. <laughs> I don't want. I don't like that feeling when I'm. It's like a nervous feeling, like an excited, nervous feeling. I just don't want. I don't. I kind of don't like it because I don't like to be let down. But yeah, symptoms I had about four, five days ago, four days ago, I felt like I had an implantate Tuesday. Tuesday or Monday night, I don't know. I feel like I felt implantation. Um, felt some pain, some things going around. So you know what I did? I just laid the fuck down and relaxed. I was like, you know what? Put my onesie on and I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna let whatever happened happen. And it happened for a minute. It was like some 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 pulling and some tugging, but it wasn't intense. But it was enough to let me know that you know, hey, something's happening. Hopefully that was something. I'm claiming it. Oh my goodness. In the name of Jesus. And it's just so funny because the whole time, like, because we had, um, we had, what, what was it? It was snow. And when I got home, it had snow. So when I got home, I had laid my onesie and my wife's onesie out. Well, I already got into mine and then she got into hers and then we laid down and was watching on TV, um, this show called Salem. And I felt, when I felt the, the, the pulling and the tugging, I just lay completely still. And I took her hand, and I put her hand on where I was feeling it at. And I was like, just, you know, send some good vibes right there, because I'm feeling a lot of action. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. But, <laughs> I'm really open that it was something. Right now, I feel like my period is, is trying to start. This morning, I felt... Um, scratchiness in my throat like I was trying to get sick, sick like the early onset of sickness and I had some juice in my throat and it is very hard for me to clear my throat because it makes me gag like that's been something that's like happening ever since I can't remember like I don't like to spit and seeing somebody, uh, I'm about to, seeing somebody else spit it just makes my mouth water and I need to throw up or something but anyway back to something else uh been gassy but that gas could have been due to all the ice cream i've been eating i've been loving sonic's uh waffle cone reese's style or whatever and i've had a couple of those and yeah me and jerry do not get along so that could be the reason why i am farting and these are not like little silent ladylike farts. These are like trombone. <laughs> I was getting ready to make the sound, but I don't. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. So I'm not going to say that. Um, but yeah. And they were kind of like forceful. So yeah. <sighs> it's crazy. So I think that's all I wanted to say. Oh, and I had a little bit of pink, a very, very smidge. Like, if you was doing a top coat that had, like, a sheer pink in it, that's the kind of pink. And it wasn't, like, even that noticeable unless I was staring. And I was looking at my pan liner because it was there. It wasn't when I wiped. It was in my pan liner. So, when that happened, happened, like, last night? I think it was last night that when that happened. So, <clears throat> I have a story to tell. Last week, me and my coworkers, we went out... And we do, you know, like a girls thing to go, I don't know, bring us close together or some shit. So we go out and my and my sister, my well, she's not my actual factual sister. She's just somebody who I'm really freaking close to. She was there. And is she in the car? Hold on one second. Babe! She's over here singing. I know she sees me. You coming? Yes. 
You know when you try to talk to somebody who is like got their windows rolled up and they start mouthing like that's what she does. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. What's up? Hey, I'm making a video. You wanna say hi? Oh damn. I don't know how to pan it. Uh oh. I can switch over. Hi. <laughs> I just listening to a song in my phone. I know, I can hear it. <laughs> okay, I'm telling the story of when I... Um, it's cool. Whatever, wherever the wind takes us. This is Brad. Wait a second. You got your wallet? So meals on me? That's okay. I got my wallet. I, got, I can do it. I have my wallet. I want, I I want to buy you a no, nice fancy no, lobster dinner. I don't have no headgear. Are you coming out of the car? Probably. <sighs> but don't open them back and up. You didn't tell me that. You said come in the but car. If I'm driving away, if I ain't. <sighs> I saw my ass. I was like, are you going somewhere? You just said come in the car. And your car's hot? I know. Cut the heat off. The heat is off. Okay, back to my story time. Oh, my chest are all up in the camera. Um, yeah, so we had went out to eat. I set the reservations, but I was like late. But I wasn't late late. I was like 10 minutes late. They had already ordered their drinks, but they didn't order their food. But, um, yeah, so our waiter came and I was like, it's kind of cute. And I talked to my, who I consider my work mom. I was like, hey, Star, he's kind of cute. Like, what's, you know, like, I just kept, you know, looking at his profile. He had blue eyes, bald head, but it wasn't by force. He shaved his head because I could still see where his hair would grow out or whatever. So he had a bald head. He had straight teeth. It looked like he didn't have any um, braces, but they weren't like perfect, perfect straight, but they was straight enough um, to be considered as straight for people. Oh, that didn't work. For non, for people who wear braces or whatever. What? Okay, anyway. Um, so I'm sitting there and I text my wife because she was at home and I said, hey, babe, the waiter here is cute. And she's like, oh, okay. And I was like, I'm going to see if he's interested in donating. <laughs> and, like, the girls around my table, they was like, no. But I'm on the end of the table, so they're like, no, what are you talking about? If he's cute, left or right? So, oh, look at that. Let's go right. Okay, right then. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it was that bad. So, you want Balladinos? You wanted us go, come on. So, anyway, we, he came and he, I didn't know what I wanted to drink. And I was like, well, what would you order if you, you know, was in my spot? And he was like, oh, I'll drink the beer. I was like, well, I'm not a beer drinker because that gives you, you know, a bloat. And then I was like, what do, do you get, like, the best recommendations for? He's like, the long eyes. He's like, give me that. And he was just so freaking charming. And then after I ordered my drink, I just put my menu down and I was like, hey, do you have a girlfriend? And he was like, yeah. I was like, snap. And I was like, do you have any kids? And he was like, yeah. I said, oh, okay. Well, have you ever considered donating? And he was like, what, my son? I was like, no, not your son. I was like, I didn't know how to say it without being even more weird than I was. But he was just so adorable and so cute, and he was not ready for what I was asking him. <laughs> he was just so adorable. And his face, like, if he could have turned red right then and there, he probably did. But it was dark in there, so I couldn't tell. And then I was like, you have a picture of your son? And he, like, reached in his pocket because he was going to show me his picture. And then he's like, well, we're not supposed to have our phones out. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> And then I just left him alone. Cause I was like, cause everybody at my table was like, oh my gosh, Shan, yeah, shut up. I was like, oh, I need to know because, you know, sperm is expensive. And I'm just trying to let him know that if he, I will pay him for his time and his services. And I told my wife that. Well, I didn't tell everything until I got home. And then she was like, no, you did not say all that. I was like, yeah, I did. I was looking out for us. We're in this together. 
<laughs> and yeah. But end of the story, I did not get my sperm. <laughs> but he was extra nice. He was extra nice. I gave him a big old tip though. Um, and then I kind of not stalked him, but I looked him up on Facebook because his name was on the ticket. But I couldn't find him. So I'm like, he may not be a Facebook person. He might be a Google Hangouts. But I might go back to the job and bring my wife with me. I'm like, hey. And bring her in a suitcase full of money. Who's going to turn that down? Nobody. But that's my story. I just had to get that out of there. But, yeah. Are we going to test or no? I mean, I feel like my period's about to start. But what how, What are you saying? How, how are you feeling? I mean, I, I prefer not waiting it out. She wants to wait it out. I'm going to be pissed if I see my period. I don't know. We'll see. But if we take a test, we're going to take a video, so. I think we got it. But anyway. Hi, everybody. Hi, Divine. Girl, 88. I think I'm saying that right. She just subscribed like last night. Uh oh. To, uh -oh. The wife wants to say hi. Oh, I did say hi. Okay. You have anything you want to say? Yeah. Hi, Rachel. 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 Hi,